All right, now that we actually have an idea of what a null session is, let's go ahead and see this in action, guys. All right, we're going to go to start, we're going to go to run. We're going to type in CMD, as in Charlie Mother David, and hit enter. We'll open up our command prompt. Now from here, we need, of course, to have a basic idea of the IP address for of our target machine that we're going to have. So let's just do a quick IP config on our XP machine, which is running at 192.168.119.129. And I have a 2000 advanced server here, and we are running a .128 on this. So this is going to be our target machines at 2000 advanced server. So what I want to be able to do now is use the net use command with the whack whack 192.168.119.128 with the IPC dollar sign that we talked about a little earlier. And then we want to use the double quotes space with a slash u, or you can type in user either way, and do a colon with a double quotes. Now write this down, pause the video, try it out on your own with the target machine that you have running, and make sure you know the correct syntax for this because you will need to know this for exam purposes and so forth. So once I hit enter, I get a command completed successfully. Now what does that actually mean? Well it means now that we actually have a connection between our in this case our XP machine and our 2000 advanced server. We created a anonymous connection um, and we have basically a session established between the two. Now that we have this we can actually utilize another tool called DumpSec. And this is a handy dandy little tool which actually allows you to do some really cool stuff when it comes to enumerating which what we're talking about here. So here we're going to go into report, select computer, and put in the IP address of that machine that we're going to get into. All right. Once that happens, again this is uh, really utilized because we've already established that null session, we can then dump the permissions, the users, and so forth uh, right into here. So let's go ahead and do a dump users as column. We're going to bring this over. Uh, in this case here we got everything in and let's go ahead and hit OK and see what we get. So as you can see here we actually have a lot of the information that's available on the uh, on the um, properties of those users and so forth. And also gives us some additional information such as the SID account. Remember 500 here at the end is always going to indicate that, that administrator account. So <clears throat> this here is the actual administrator name. Now if somebody would have renamed it we would have seen maybe it would have said Joe or something to that effect. Then you know we would just looked at the SID. There's another tool we can use called uh, SID to user, user to SID, which will basically show us the relationship between that 500 SID and that user. Um, name that's associated with that administrator account and so forth. So as you can see it gives us a lot of cool information here and so forth. And again this is part of the enumeration process uh, and so forth as well. Again, it can be very dangerous if you have that enabled. Remember this was in regards to ports 139 and 445 and um, again generally when those are open. Now we talked a little earlier about Nmap we've kind of looked at it in extensively as well and here we, we have a GUI version of this where earlier we looked at the Linux version in Backtrack 3 where here we're just going to do a simple scan here let's do a quick scan on our IP address in this case uh, 192 there we go oops there we go and let's do a scan and what you'll notice here of course is that the port numbers that are going to be essential to that null session completing successfully again are going to be port 139, 445 most commonly. Uh, port 135 may come into play as well and 1025 also but the most important ones again for exam purposes is going to be 139 and 445 that you will need to know about. So it's always good to know those port numbers as you're going along and so forth as well. Now let's uh, get ready for another session here. Now Let's say we've uh, we just did it, of course, via the long method of going in and actually enumerating using the command line, and then going in using a tool called DumpSec. Now, there is another tool out here, again, more for real-world application versus exam, but this particular tool here called Cane Enable, very very easy to use. It's a multifunctional tool. It does a lot of cool things, and here, basically, what we're going to do is we're just going to add in this IP address 192.168.119 dot one twenty eight. Now the cool thing here, if you want to create a null session within can enable, all you gotta do is just double click and voila, we've already created our null session. And then from here again we can enumerate the same type of information that we had before when it comes to 
the information that's available, and uh, and so forth. We can begin to see our shares, see the users, get enumeration of those. We get to see the SID account numbers that are associated with that. And again, here we see the 500 and so forth. Now we can go a lot further in. We can actually try to penetrate the actual SAM account on that uh, on that remote machine. We can also go in and uh, install an additional service within uh, can enable uh, into the services of the remote machine and so forth. There's a lot of cool things we can do. We'll talk more about can enable and some more of the advanced uh, attacking techniques. But again, it's a nice little tool. Go to insecure.org to actually download the tool and uh, kind of take it from there, guys. So anyway, let's go ahead and hop on to our next section. And for that, I'd like to thank you all for this. And we'll see you here in a few minutes.